everybody, it's a writerish here and welcome to today's redstone tutorial, although this is going to be less of a tutorial and more of a theory showcase. So if you've been playing Minecraft for a while or you've watched lots of Minecraft YouTubers, you will notice that something that quite often happens is that they will build sorting systems for all their items because they are so much better. They allow us to just instantly sort items while AFK instead of having to go through and sort the items ourselves. But there's a set of items that can't really be sorted using the standard like impulse SV design and those are non-stackable items such as potions, boats, minecarts. But today I want to show you a theory for a non-stackable item filter and I'm showing you this theory because I do not have the rest of knowledge or expertise to be able to build it myself. So I want you all to be able to go and have this theory and look if you can create these non-stockable item filter yourself in your own worlds. And I would love to see if any of you all are able to come up with one. So these have to be done in a fairly specific order, although it can be a bit out of place if you do want it to. And the first one is going to be potions. Potions can be sorted out because they will go into a brewing stand and then you could just suck them right out. So if we go ahead and just turn this on, you can see that we do indeed get our four potions and if we do something like get ourselves a sword and put that in there, not a clock, uh, you will see that it will not get sorted out no matter what, because only potions can go in there. Let's go ahead and clear that on my inventory. The next one is going to be shulker boxes. So shulker boxes, of course, could not be put in regular shulker boxes. So in theory, what you could do is you could have everything in here. Go ahead and flick this on. Let items flow into the hopper and then once there are five shulker boxes or there are no items left in here you could turn that back on, flip this piston over and those shulker boxes will sort out. Once those are all gone you can flip that back and that back. Have items flow again and you can see down here shulker boxes everything else. So that's working out perfectly. The next one would be water and lava. So of course water and lava can be placed with a dispenser and you could determine whether or not it's water or lava based off of how fast it flows using an observer block. The fourth thing on your list would be minecarts because these can be placed directly on rails and of course just broken with a cactus. It works fairly simply just dispense a minecart out here. If it does dispense onto the rail then you do indeed have a minecart. And finally we got boats which you could dispense, have it hit a cactus as well. And that is the theory behind a non-stackable item filter. I would love to see these in someone's world or a design. And if you design one and want me to make a tutorial on it, go ahead and tweet me at a writerish, join my Discord server, mention anywhere, and I'd be happy to do that. But I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. But I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye!